Hello to everyone out there in YouTube land. I have some new items to show off for the vinyl collection. It's starting with some reissues from Frank Zappa that I'm very excited about. I'm a huge Frank Zappa fan and I've got the new version of Burnt Weenie Sandwich and this is the edition that came out through Newbury Comics on marbled silver vinyl. So being a sucker for colored vinyl and a sucker for Frank Zappa, this was just a natural. These pressings are also great, so black or colored vinyl, they've done an excellent job with these reissues. The whole series has been very impressive and this comes with the fold out that was included with the original vinyl. I'm never going to get this on the, the camera, but it's the, <laughs> the whole long Mothers of Invention Regret to Inform You insert. And alongside that came out Chunga's Revenge, also gatefold also on colored vinyl this time out here lime green just got to hold that up for a while because that's <laughs> such a zappa-esque color really excited to get those they've done a great job with the reissues Chunga's Revenge being a, a transitional album. They're both transitional albums in a sense. Burnt Weenie Sandwich being uh, basically the end of the original Mothers of Invention. Um, it's one of the things that uh, Frank put together from his backlog of tapes. So it's um, a real collage of what he was doing right at the end when he was really peaking with the uh, chamber music style of the mothers and then Chunga's Revenge is also a, uh, a transitional album in that it's the beginning of the Flo and Eddie period coming out of the Hot Rats era so he had taken a stripped down version of the Hot Rats concept without all the uh, uh, obviously without all the overdubbed horns because he was doing it on the road very briefly um, with just a four or five piece band and uh, you get a, a bit of that and you get the beginnings of the Flo and Eddie era on this. Next a couple of uh, new jazz releases. First is Sons of Kemet, Your Queen is a Reptile. Uh, Sons of Kemet have done a couple of albums on another label. This is their first for Impulse. So obviously there's a lot of prestige, so to speak, behind this one. And I don't know the the background of the people in the band, but Kemet is the ancient name for Egypt, and they do rap on here about being immigrants, the band itself being formed in Britain. Um, this is mostly instrumental, but there is rapping on uh, a few of the tracks. It's not the hip-hop kind of rapping. It's more along the lines of reggae toasting. This is very African sounding. It's all horns and percussion. Bass part is played on tuba, all the rest is saxophones and percussion. Very driving, very energetic. There's a very strong energy to this album. Um, it is very African jazz uh, with a strong taste of, they don't use the reggae beat, but there is definitely a uh, an element of Rastafari in there, uh, a little bit of dub to this, so uh, really nice. Another double LP in the jazz vein and um, it, with something in common instrumentally, this is Binker and Moses. It's Journey to the Mountain of Forever. Very impressive packaging. Doesn't really look like a jazz album. Um, the duo of Binker and Moses themselves are just saxophone and drums. So on the first
first disc of this, that's it. It's drum and saxophone. Uh, the second disc, they bring in guests, including Evan Parker. And with the participation of Evan Parker, I think I was expecting something a bit more free than this is. But this is actually pretty tuneful, pretty melodic, a bit funky. Um, the second disc does get more experimental, but it's not really the kind of scronky stuff that I might normally associate Evan Parker with. So, um, it's interesting. Great packaging. Uh, custom inner sleeves to boot. So, that's worth checking out. Um, one oddity about this one is that it's a very strange cut, the physical cut of the LPs. The run-in grooves are very narrow, which means that my automatic turntable would put the needle down uh, actually in the music because there just isn't enough space in the run-in groove for the needle. So you have to use a, a manual cueing to get the needle in there if you want to hear the music right from the beginning. And it ends with a, a locked run-out groove on side four. So uh, it may take you a little while to realize, hey, this is just... <laughs> This is just uh, repetition. So, that's that one. On the classical tip, I picked up a copy of Scriabin's Third Symphony. Scriabin called his symphonies poems, so this is the Divine Poem. And this is a recording on Angel Melodia with uh, Yevgeny Svetlanov conducting. So, the Melodia records are all licensed from what was then the Soviet Union, because this was, well, Melodia was the official Soviet label. Uh, music on here is very brassy, very big, uh, very extravagant. Scrabin was a total nutcase, so um, there's a little E-flat clarinet lick there that I swear he stole from Mahler, too. So, Scrabin Third Symphony. And I've got uh, two albums by Caitlin Aurelius Smith electronic music composer. This is from 2015, Euclid, and this is entirely performed by Caitlin Aurelia Smith with bootless synthesizer and other electronics. And the follow-up from 2016, Ears, where she's joined by a woodwind player. So these are both really nice, uh, delicate, not quite ambient, but more more um, active than that, but very sweet electronic pieces. So those are really enjoyable, and the packaging is very beautiful on both. Great uh, album artwork. This one I actually got uh, about a month ago, but hadn't shown. Uh, but it's in the same vein, because it's a, a bit of classic electronica. And this is Klaus Schulz's picture music, of course. I've never owned this version on vinyl before. This is the original Green Brain edition, and the version that I bought on vinyl back in the day was not this cover. It was the, I think, French release that had a, a more Dolly-like cover. So there, there's not a lot to say about this. If you know Klaus Schulze, this is absolute classic keyboard splendor from the Berlin School. So that's it for right now. My red light is blinking at me, so thank you for watching, and I will talk with you again soon. Bye-bye for now.